Hey beauties, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Darissa Rain, aka Riri. I'm a plus size model and a freelance and self-taught makeup artist here in North Carolina, and I love coconuts. Um, not always the taste of coconuts, it depends on how it's made or what it's in, but the scent of coconut, y'all, I love it. Obsessed with it, takes me back to when we lived in Hawaii when I was little. I just love it. Anything with coconut in it, coconut oil, um, anything with lotion that has coconut in it, any kind of body sprays or anything like that that have coconut in them, obsessed, love. Anyways, um, today's video is going to be my February faves or like love and loathes as I like to call them. And oddly enough, because I was so sick <laughs> during the month of February, um, I didn't wear much makeup. So most of what I have is hair care, skin type things, um, which is kind of exciting for me because I feel like all too often I kind of see most kind of YouTubers or beauty type people really focus only on makeup or beauty products. And I feel like, you know, beauty is so much more than that. I feel like it's your hair, it's your nails, it's your skin, it's everything. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right in. Um, first up, I actually hope that you guys can tell because I am really obsessed with my hair and I've only tried this particular product twice. And normally I wouldn't say, hey, I love, love, love something um, if I've only tried it one or two times. But this particular product, um, I've used it literally two times and I'm already obsessed with it. The texture of my hair, the way that it lays, the way that it gets rid of my flyaways, just everything about this particular product I'm obsessed with. I will repurchase it. It's expensive. I got myself a bottle of it and my son a bottle of it. And uh, yeah, y'all need to check this product out. But it is the Weller Professionals Oil Reflections Luminous Smoothing Oil. And that is what she looks like. I am starting with loves, by the way, this month. Um, so that is what it looks like, you guys. Oh my god. First of all, it is a nice oil, but it dries really quickly on the skin. It doesn't feel super slippery or kind of too oily, if you will. Um, and it goes into the hair beautifully. It sets on the hair beautifully. It doesn't make my hair look greasy or anything like that, as you can tell. Um, but I mean, there's like, I have no flyaways. I have been able to get into my hair and really comb my hair through and brush my hair without any kind of issues, no problems. Um, like I'm super obsessed with this stuff, you guys. And it was on sale through Ulta. So I did pick up again, a bottle for myself and for my son because it's really fucking expensive. Um, I did receive like a little mini trial sample size a while ago. That's kind of why I'm comfortable calling it a love after two times of use because I did have a tiny little vial of it as a sample a while back from a Sephora purchase. Um, it smells incredible, incredible. It feels amazing. Um, my hair just feels so, so nice. I will get out of the shower at night. I will wash my hair. I let it air dry obviously overnight. And then the very next day, like today, I washed my hair last night. Today, when I got up this morning, I just put a couple drops and, and like literally two little tiny pumps is all it takes. So hopefully it lasts a long time. Um, I put two little pumps in, massage it through my hands. I start kind of through here and then just bring it all the way down to my ends and then kind of pull my hair like this and bring it through the rest of my ends. And I love my hair right now. Love. Moving along, also hair products. Um, you guys know that I color treat and this past time when I bleached out my hair, I don't know if maybe just the texture of my hair is changing or what is going on, but I really felt like my hair got super, super brittle this past time and I was not happy. I was not a happy camper at all. So I was like, I need to find something that's really going to kind of recondition and rehydrate and bring some life back into my hair. So again, from Ulta, because it was on sale, I got the Bedhead Color Goddess Oil Infused Shampoo and Conditioner for colored hair. And you guys, I have noticed an insane difference in my hair. And not just that, not just the fact that I feel like my hair is definitely moisturized and more conditioned, not looking quite as frizzy and dead, <laughs> um, but it smells like chocolate cupcakes or like chocolate buttercream frosting. Um, it smells delicious. So it's like this whole amazing, delicious experience when you're in the shower. I love it so much. It is 
magical. So my hair has been absolutely loving me. I did forget one of my loves. I forgot to bring it in here with me. I have also this past month been using a wet brush, the actual brand wet brush, and absolutely love that as well. Um, if you have never tried one and you have thick, coarse, or wavy hair, anything like that, textured hair, I definitely recommend it. I did pick one up for my son as well, and he absolutely loves his as well. So um, I'm really loving my hair lately, especially with this past month of being super sick. Um, it was kind of nice to still feel like my hair looked like it had some life to it and looked half-ass decent. Uh, so yeah, moving along. <laughs> my next love is a skincare product, and this is also something that I actually, my son has been using for a while, and when I took a shower in his shower, because I suffer chronic pain, um, he has the best shower head in our home. So when my back is bothering me a lot, I will go use his shower. So with that being said, I used this one day and I was like, holy shit, it smells amazing. It felt incredible on the skin. My skin felt super clean, but also felt moisturized. And I've never felt that was something that's supposed to be an exfoliating product. So this is called the Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating Energizing Coffee 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleansing Stick. And this is what it looks like. These are a little bit expensive as well, but again, I try to make sure that I buy products like these when I love something through Ulta or even their website. They had them recently for buy one, get one as well. Um, so I really try, especially if it's something my son and I both enjoy, I try to get it when it's BOGO or using coupons or things like that. But you guys, first of all, it smells so good. And then you can see the actual kind of coffee grounds and stuff in here. Ugh, and it smells like coconut, which I appreciate and love so much. But you can feel the texture. You can feel the coffee kind of exfoliating the skin. But then it feels super, super hydrating. Like my skin feels absolutely incredible after using this. Plus, again, that kind of, you know, nice, you know, experience that you get in the shower the same way with the shampoo and conditioner that it just smells phenomenal and it's just relaxing and soothing. So, Definitely recommend that if you have super dry skin and you need an exfoliation treatment and you feel like too many exfoliating products are way too harsh on your skin, definitely recommend this. It is bar none one of the, my favorite products that I've been using. Um, moving along, still in my loves, I have a lot of loves. I do have a couple loves as well. <laughs> um, another love is, and I've loved these products for years and years and years. I've raved about these several times, but it is the Mali Evercutter Color Cup. Let's rewind that. The Mally Ever Color Shadow Stick. And this is the shade Burnished Bronze that we did receive in our Allure, I believe it was. Um, I love this thing so much. You can tell that I've used her quite a bit. The few times that I did actually do some makeup, I literally will put this on all the way, put it underneath, and then just with my fingertips kind of very softly buff it out. It lasts all day long. I love the color. I love the texture. Um, again, I've raved about these many, many times and the sacred green one that I used to have that I cannot find anywhere else. Um, but yeah, I love this so much. It is something that I will continue to use. I can't wait for summertime to use this one and the really pale like champagne -y pink one that I have. I think they're going to work together to be a beautiful little like soft, summery, bronzy look together. So Love this, super long lasting. Definitely, definitely pick one up if you are in the market for like an eyeshadow stick. Um, super long wearing, bulletproof, love them so much. Moving along, another Mally product um, that I actually did a first impression of and the few times that I did do my makeup this month if I was not using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, which is bomb, I was using the Mally Face Defender BB Cream Foundation, which Again, is super hydrating, super beautiful on the skin. I was actually really blown away by this, and every time that I have used it since then, I am still blown away by it. Um, definitely not something for someone that has super oily skin. Would not recommend this for you, um, nor would I recommend it if you are a full coverage beauty. If you are somebody that wants, you know, light coverage, light to medium coverage, if you need extra hydration, you like a nice, you know, satin to kind of dewy you know, finish to the skin. I absolutely think this is beautiful. The formulation is beautiful. It feels nice on the skin. 
Um, definitely a fan, and I'm really looking forward to using this in the summertime, especially with it having SPF in it. And it doesn't smell intense. It doesn't leave a weird white kind of cast the way that some SPF products can. Um, I'm a fan. I love it. All right, moving along. Still in my loves. Shockingly, I have a ton of loves this month. Um, next up is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer and Base Hydrate and Smooth. I also did this when I did the Mally product. And that is what that looks like. I have also used this each time that I have done my makeup. Um, there will be nothing that will ever, ever replace my two Holy Grail primers. Um, but this comes really close. I really love the fact that it did slightly blur my pores. It gave me definitely like a little bit of a filling type of, you know, feel to the face. Um, but it was super hydrating and it felt really nice on the skin. And I felt like the foundation, either the Mally or the Tarte, both laid beautifully on top of it. Again, I didn't have a reaction from it. I didn't feel like it was itchy or anything like that as I wore it for a long period of time. Um, definitely a fan. And when I run out of this, I will for sure get the full size. So I love it. And it's drugstore, so super affordable, which is a plus. So moving along. Um, I'm going to continue with makeup and then I have one perfume and then we're going to go to the ones I didn't care to uh, use again. <laughs> um, next up is the, I don't know if it's Laga or Laka, I can't tell if it's a G or Q because y'all know I'm blind as hell. Um, it is the prickly pear little gloss that we had gotten last month that when I originally looked at it, I was like, no bitch, I'm not using this. Um, but it is gorgeous and I'm actually going to put some on right now. Um, it is not too tacky or sticky, and when I put it on my lips, it literally is like my lips, but better. It feels incredible. It smells really nice as well. Um, it's definitely not this crazy bold pink on the lips. Um, super juicy, super hydrating, and I absolutely love it, like a lot. What I have actually been doing with this particular thing is when I've done my makeup the few times. I also love this YSL little like matte stain that we had also gotten in a sub box. <laughs> so what I will do is put a little bit of this. I will blot literally right there in the center of my lips. And just let it be. And it just gives me like a little bit of warmth to the lips, just a little bit of color, but then still really pretty and juicy and soft and hydrating and my hair doesn't stick in it it doesn't feel tacky or weird or anything like that it doesn't feel uncomfortable which i'm super fucking shocked by because we all know that unless i'm wearing one of my two favorite like avon lippies and i have to wear like a lip liner with them and things like that unless i'm wearing one of those i'm really not a bullet lipstick girl nor am i a lip gloss girl so i'm pretty impressed by this and oh, well this too but I'm pretty impressed by this, and I absolutely love it, and I think it is absolutely stunning. Um, like, I'm ready to wear this in the summertime, too. So, love, love, love. Next up for my love, this is my first time, and I cannot believe this, actually, um, but I got it when it was on sale, <laughs> of course, um, through HSN, and then I had a $10 off coupon, so it was, like, literally next to nothing. But this is my very first actual beauty blender brand of Beauty Sponge. And y'all know that I don't use a beauty sponge to actually put on my foundation, but I definitely use it to place my concealer, you know, to chisel out, you know, and things like that. But this thing is the shit. It is super, super spongy, super, super soft, um, but dense enough that I feel like it's still, you know, putting product onto the skin, but not lifting up any foundation once I press my foundation in with my brush. Um, it gets really big and really fat when you do wet it. I just, I'm obsessed with it. And I never thought that I would be. You know, I've been using my Morphe sponge. I also like the Real Technique sponge and the Eco Tools one, um, the green one. I think those are all beautiful sponges. But this one definitely has made me change my mind about sponges being different. Cause, because it's definitely different. I can feel a texture difference in just the way that it feels applying, you know, my concealer and kind of pressing my concealer out or applying my powder underneath my eyes. Um... So yeah, I'm a fan, and I never thought I would be, so. <laughs> um, okay, so moving along, still in my loves. This is my last love for the month, and it is a fragrance. I have worn and loved and sworn by Philosophy products for many, many, many years. 
Um, and my favorite fragrance from them used to be Baby Grace. I just absolutely love the way that that smells. It's super soft, um, very like a clean scent. And I think that it's super beautiful, especially like in the spring and summer. I love to wear that. But I recently have discovered the Pure Grace and the Nude Rose from Philosophy. And that is what that looks like. And again, something very soft and very clean. But this has such a beautiful... I'm going to spray a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh. It has a nice rose scent to it, but nothing that's overpowering and nothing that's fake rose scent. Um, I have definitely tried some like rose toners and rose... Um, like, you know, setting sprays and things like that, that really smelt artificial and very chemical based. Whereas this, I almost kind of feel like it kind of smells like baby powder kind of in the background. And then you get hit with a little bit of the rose notes. It smells so absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. Moving along, along. Um, I guess I'll do my one like and then we'll go to the loads. Um... Yeah, and this one I was actually going to do as a loathe, but I tried it again. You guys really know that I try my best to not really judge a product based on one time of using it. I really try to try it different ways. You just use different brushes, hydrate my skin different, or, you know, set my skin in a different way. But this is the Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan Glow Up Highlighter that we just received in the BoxyCharm. And... It's just a like for me, and the only reason that I did not deem it as a loathe is because, which again, it's, in my opinion, very, very lackluster. Um, the only reason I'm keeping it as a like and even keeping it is just because you can build it up some, and I also think that for the days that I don't want to be like, holy shit, like in your face... I hope I have not been blurry this whole time. If I have been, you guys, I'm really sorry. Um, but, you know, some days I don't want super crazy blinding, you know, highlight shimmer everywhere. I also think that it would be really pretty to just do like a little something, a little pop of shimmer on the eyelid. So for that reason, I'm going to deem it as a like. I definitely do not see myself using it as like an overall highlight consistently because I prefer something that is definitely a lot more blinding. Um, especially for the, the price point of this, you know, knowing that it's regular price, $32, I think that is asinine as hell. Um, I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's not horrible, horrible, but it's definitely not my favorite product. So moving along to my loads. And I hope I didn't already say this because I may already have brought this up last month, but I'm going to bring it up again because y'all, this is trash in my personal opinion. Um, but it's the Billion Dollar Brows. Um, and if I did bring it up, I'm really sorry. I should have watched last month's video. Um, I try to like move things around in my drawer that I have for my like, love, and lows per month. But again, um, I did like the packaging and things like that. Um, I just was not a fan. It's too soft, too creamy, too emollient. Um, it was like dragging and like leaving little clumps and stuff in my eyebrow. And then when I went to spoolie it out, it was just like leaving, it was like transferring to the top and bottom part of my brow, getting on my skin. I just was not a fan of this at all. Like I honestly would not even pay a dollar for this. And that sounds really bad. Now, of course, we all have different wants, needs. We all like things a particular way. And, you know, if you love this and this is your holy grail pencil, then more power to you. And that's 100% fine. Um, I prefer a brow pencil that is a lot more thin than this. I like a skinny brow pencil that is slightly more waxy and a little bit, um, not hard to build up, but harder to build up than what this one was so that when I go to spoolie it through, I'm not mixing product around on my face, on my eyes. Um, I just didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. And then my last loathe of the month is the Larity Cosmetics Lip Pencil and Bear. That is the outer packaging. I will show it to you all once more. Um, I did try this, and I actually tried it a few times. And I thought I was going to like it because, you know, mama likes a nude. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a no-go. I did not like it at all. Um, it was very stiff. It was tugging, you know, at my lips and stuff like that. I just did not like it. It was not creamy at all. It was not gliding the way that I feel like a lip pencil should glide. I just, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Um, 
yeah and I hate that I hated it and then if I haven't mentioned the caution uh, extreme mascara from hourglass that is like one of the worst mascaras I've ever used which sounds horrible but if I didn't mention that last month that is definitely not something that I personally would use again um, but yeah I definitely had an amazing month as far as like skincare um, and my hair and stuff like that like I'm living for my skin right now I feel like it looks beautiful and I'm loving my hair and uh, yeah I'm really excited because I've not had like any kind of I feel like shine or any kind of whatever to my hair in a long long time um, if you have thick coarse hair then you understand my pain and my struggle but anyways that is it for my like love and loves for the month of February if you like this video at all then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below if you hit that notification bell I'd be even more grateful and thankful and please always remember to be your own best beautiful bye beauties